Thanks to last week's rainfall, Alberta is overall in a better position when it comes to wildfire threats. But dry conditions continue in the north, where tens of thousands of people spent the weekend under evacuation alerts. Alberta currently has three out-of-control wildfires burning, but two are wildfires of note. Wildfire will be assigned a status as out-of-control. It doesn't necessarily mean that it's a large uh, fire or posing a threat to a community. So we do have uh, wildfires of note, and those are wildfires that are deemed to be of significant public interest. Residents of Fort McMurray remain under an evacuation alert Monday afternoon and are asked to prepare to leave their homes at a moment's notice as a wildfire threatens the community. One resident taking to social media saying they're self-evacuating before conditions worsen. People should create a household emergency plan and pack an emergency kit with a minimum of 72 hours worth of supplies. Bring medications with you, re review insurance policies, plan for your pets. The blaze is burning about 16 kilometers southwest of the community, but Alberta wildfire is hopeful forecasted rain will help fire crews and say the current wind conditions are working in their favor and blowing away from the city. But of course, you know, conditions are always subject to change. Meanwhile, another out of control wildfire is burning about four kilometers east of Teepee Creek in the county of Grand Prairie, where a number of residents are also facing evacuation alerts. Alberta Wildfire says they are watching the blaze closely due to increased fire activity. They are one of the areas of the province that just haven't received the same amount of humidity and precipitation uh, overnight or throughout the day. There are more than 40 wildfires burning in the province as of Monday afternoon, but they weren't the sole cause of the poor air quality over the weekend. A wildfire near Fort Nelson in northeastern British Columbia had forced more than 4,000 people to evacuate, the winds pushing the smoke into Alberta. Firesmoke.ca shows where and when wildfire smoke events may occur over the next two days. In Edmonton, Laura Krause, City News.